1 Corinthians, as we start this book, is a look, a revealing look, at the problems and issues that were evident in the early church there in Corinth. There's schisms, there's divisions, there's fights, there's rumors, there's factions. It's a sex craze culture as well. There's questions about divorce. When can a Christian sue a non-Christian or another Christian? And in chapter one, the Apostle Paul in this letter begins to deal with the issues in the church. People were speaking and separating over different leaders. I'm of Apollos, I'm of Paul, I follow Peter, then the real spiritual ones, I follow Jesus. The whole church was a mess. And so in chapter one, Paul lets them know it's not about the leader, it's not about you, it's about Jesus. Listen to verse 27. God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of the world and the despised things. He takes those who are wise and nullifies the things that are, that no one may boast before the Lord. See, it's not about your great leader or your teacher. Paul says it's about Jesus. In fact, the very closing verse in chapter one is let him who boasts, boast in the Lord. As you begin to read through 1 Corinthians, Paul is gonna deal with all kinds of crazy issues, and he tries to bring it back again and again. But let's keep our focus, our attention, our boasting, our leader, the Lord Jesus Christ. I encourage you to read 1 Corinthians. It's like it's dealing with our culture, our day, our time, and its focus is to bring us back to keeping our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ.